Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Greg Walker. I'm with Coastline Marine. We're going to do a quick walkthrough video of a Gamefish 27 we have in our inventory. Let's jump right in. We'll start off here on the bow of the boat. One thing I like to make a point of to all my customers is the deep V construction of these Sea Hunt boats and the Monster Carolina Flare. Really makes for a smooth ride and keeps everybody dry. This particular boat's powered with twin Yamaha F200 XSA2s that come in white now. Um, also on the back of the boat, you're gonna have Bennett recessed trim tabs that have the LED indicator on the switch. Blue ocean LED underwater lights. And then one of two ladders is on the back of the boat. This one's actually recessed in the hole, so it doesn't take away from the eye peel. It's very easy to use. You just pull it out, fold it down, your steps fold out. You got a three-step ladder system with a grab bar to get in and out of the boat pretty quick. A nice feature on the Gamefish 27 is gonna be the side door entry. This is a two-piece door system. You have a top part that folds over on top of the gunnel. Then the bottom part swings in, grabs onto a magnet on the inside so it doesn't sway back and forth whenever you're offshore. An option for the side door is a side entry ladder. It's a telescoping stainless steel heavy duty ladder that's stowed away in the center console. Makes it super easy getting in and out of the boat, especially if you're diving, if you have kids, if you're in and out from the sandbar. Keeps everybody safe and keeps everybody comfortable. At the rear of the Gamefish 27, you have a 30 gallon insulated live well with a recirculator and an LED light. There's a 260 quart insulated fish box, cooler box, starboard side rear jump seat. Bottom corner, you have a tow rail, raw water wash down, gunnel rod storage. There's an optional rear bench seat for the Gamefish 27. This boat does not have it. Easy access hatch right here to all your pumps. Mr. Pump, wash down, fresh water, wash down, live well pump, shut off valves, and then your through hole transducer for the garments. Moving on to the second live well system. This particular boat has the bait tank lean post with the captain chairs. This is the new aquarium style from Sea Hunt. Comes with a recirculator, LED light. There's a fresh water wash down system in it, tackle tray storage in it slide out drawer system, bottle cap opener, captain chair setup with foldable armrest, flip up bolsters, and a fold down footrest. At the helm, Sea Hunt gives you a black acrylic dash. This particular boat has dual Garmin 1243s, JL Audio Media Master wireless phone charger, labeled switch panel. I put Helm Master, Autopilot. It's got the new CL5 gauge from Yamaha electric binnacles from Yamaha. Up on the fiberglass hardtop, comes with a Garmin VHF radio, switch panel for spreader lights, blue courtesy lights, and then electric vent for the windshield. Also new for the 2024 models is a glove box storage. Color on the underside of the hardtop, which is silver gray to match the hull of the boat. Kingfish rod holders, tulip rod holders on the rear, and a mister system. An option you can add to the fiberglass hardtop on the Gamefish 27 is a Gemluck Outrigger kit. This particular boat has it. These are 18 foot telescoping outriggers from Gemluck. The only thing they need is a rigging kit. Standard in the Gamefish 27 is an enclosed privacy room with a porcelain marine head, overboard discharge and pump out, easy access to the shutoff valve for the macerator, access to the back of the dash for the electrical, battery switches and batteries. At the bow of the boat, you've got the coffin box set up. This acts as a lounge pad with foldable armrest. It's a 256 quart insulated fish box, dry storage, or cooler box. You've also got a jump seat with a removable cushion and your third live well system underneath it. Moving forward on the bow on the Gamefish 27 is the standard Lumar windlass setup. This comes with a Lumar claw anchor, 50 feet of chain, 250 feet of rope, Two controls, one at the bow, and then the second one's at the helm on the switch fan. I don't skimp on the trailers, especially when it comes to our stock boats. This particular trailer is an upgraded deluxe package, which comes with good looking aluminum wheels, matching spare tire with an extra hub assembly in it, 
heavy duty aluminum frame, all the hardware is stainless steel, bunks are welded to fit the boat perfect, big step plates, heavy duty fenders, maintenance free hubs, submersible LEDs, and of course your guide on poles. This concludes the walkthrough video of the Gamefish 27. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see other walkthrough videos of all the different models from Sea Hunt Boats.